Uh, Brandon Judd is the Border Patrol Union president. Uh, Brandon, uh, I have a feeling we could be seeing a lot more of these flights and or buses of those trying to find their way here beyond Texas. Uh, how do you feel about that, that, that that process has not been interrupted? In fact, it's picking up considerable steam. Nil. Every single one of my agents and, my, and myself, we're extremely upset. We feel beaten down. We feel like this administration has not given us the the enforcement tools. They've given us the processing tools, but they haven't given us the enforcement tools to stop this crisis that currently goes on. In fact, when we process people through quicker, that just means more people are going to continue to come. That is inviting people to come here. We're hoping for the best, but there's been nothing from this administration that has given us any hope. Um, that there's going to be a light at the end of the tunnel. This just continues to get worse and worse and worse, and the American public is paying for it. You know, Brandon, um, I always wonder what will come of this decision, whether they will just remove this uh, Title 42 suspension or just suspend the suspension. You know what I mean? Like push it back another month or so. That won't help you in any way. No, it doesn't. We've already seen what happens when you cut out segments. Um, as Bill was reporting down there uh, on in Del Rio, when we cut out segments, when we give carve-outs to Venezuelans, Cubans, Colombians, which, by the way, we do not exercise Title 42 on any of those countries, that just invites more people to come. So when you look at that right now, we're only expelling about 55 percent of the people that cross the border illegally. Um, one that goes away completely, that just means everybody from around the world are going to continue to come. So it's just a band-aid to push it back. What we have to have is we have to have permanent solutions. And Neil, you and I have both talked about what those solutions are, and the Biden administration knows what they need to do. They just fail to do it. They, they will not put this, um, the proper enforcement tools in place because they pander to their far-left open border base. Do you know, uh, Brandon, whether... Uh the administration, if it were to get its way, uh, stop Title 42 on the, on the 23rd, that they're going to beef up uh, manpower, woman power on the border with, with your people to, to deal with what even they acknowledge could be an increase and likely a significant increase, to your point, in, in migrants trying to get through. No, I've, I've never been more disappointed in a plan than, than what I saw from DHS, that six pillar plan. All it's talking about is moving people through the system faster. It's not talking about any enforcement tools except for pillar number three, where they say it's going to be expedited removal. But it's already been proven under the Obama administration that expedited removal doesn't work because all somebody has to do is claim that they have a fear of going back to their country. Then that order, that expedited removal order is canceled and they're put through the uh, the the asylum process and released into the United States. So nothing in those pillars um, does it give enforcement tools. All it's doing is talking about moving people through the system faster, and that doesn't work. That just encourages more illegal immigration. Wild stuff. Uh, Brandon, I know you keep up with it, but you do, young man. Thank you. Brandon Judd, the Border Patrol Union president. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.